when changing your WordPress theme, there's a high risk of breaking your site or losing important data. We've handled more than a million sites. And today I'll show you number one, a checklist before the change to avoid breaking your site or losing data. Number two, four safest ways to change your WordPress theme. And number three, a checklist after the change to catch any small errors that may have slipped through. Welcome to the channel. We help you find your website mojo by sharing new videos every week to fix issues and improve performance of your business website. We've built multiple successful WordPress plugins that manage more than a million sites today. And we'll share all of our insights with you. So hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on our weekly videos. Chapter one, things to do before changing a WordPress theme. Changing your WordPress theme directly without any prep work can lead to various errors like widgets disappearing, contact forms not working, or even the dreaded white screen of death. So I'll share seven main steps to help you prevent this. Number one, back up your website. Because in case of any issues, a full backup is the only savior that can revive your website. Disclaimer, do not rely on web host backups. Because while they're easy to take, trust me, there is a host of reasons your backup won't be available when you need it the most. We built Blog Vault to offer one-click backups that are 100% guaranteed reliable. So I'd recommend at least taking a free trial by checking the link in the description. I'll also add a link above to the comparison between the top three backup plugins in the market. So you can make an informed choice before buying any one of them. Number two, copy all custom CSS on your website. You see, WordPress allows you to add custom CSS in order to customize your website. If the CSS is added to a particular page or post, then it is unlikely to be affected by a theme change. However, custom CSS added to a theme will not transfer over to the new theme automatically. That's why before changing the theme, you need to save those custom CSS snippets separately so you can add them to the new theme later. Number three, check the current load times of your site. This is an important metric to note down before the change because it will become the baseline against which you can benchmark the new theme. As a rule of thumb, you want your newer theme to load faster than the current one. Faster load times mean better user experience and also affect the overall SEO ranking of your site. Number four, note down all active analytics integrations because tracking pixels and analytic code snippets are usually inserted into the header file of the active theme so they may not carry over to the new theme. Make a list of the integrations and note down any code so you can get it back after changing the theme. Number five, check for theme support. If there's any issues on your site after the change, a responsive customer support team is a true lifesaver that helps you quickly resolve issues. I feel it's even worth paying a bit more for a premium theme which has good reviews for its customer support because it brings you a certain peace of mind. Number six, check compatibility with browsers because screen sizes vary significantly on different devices. Secondly, test websites responsiveness on mobile and tablet devices because Google uses it as a factor for ranking. Number seven, check theme compatibility with plugins. Your new theme may react badly to the code in your existing plugins. So it helps to check compatibility between new theme and existing plugins on a staging site. Number eight, compatibility with existing site. If your existing site uses premium page builders like Elementor or complex themes like DV, the layout and blocks on your site will be affected by a theme change. So better to make a change first on a staging site to catch any unwanted effects. Now, with that out of the way, let's get that theme changed. Chapter two, how to change WordPress theme without breaking your site or losing data. Number one, use a staging site because this is the best way to change anything on your site. Staging sites are exact replicas or clones of your live site. You can make changes on this replica site and observe the effects or errors. This helps you fine tune any changes and avoid any errors before you roll out major changes to your live site. I recommend using our in-house product blog wall for this because it's really easy and virtually eliminates any chance of a site break or data loss. Basically, you can take a bulletproof backup with a click and then launch a staging site with another click. When you're done with testing changes, you can automatically merge changes from a staging site to a live site. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to use Blog Vault for safely changing themes on your site. Number one, create a Blog Vault account and wait for your site to sync. Number two, once the site syncs, go into the site details page on the Blog Vault dashboard. Number three, click on add staging. Number four, select which backup to use to create site. By default, the latest backup is selected. If you have a new Blog Vault account, then the first sync is used to create the staging site. Number five, once the site is created, copy the credentials to visit your site. To log into the staging site, use the same WP admin login details as your live website. Number six, update the theme as you would on your live site and check it thoroughly. Number seven, once you are satisfied with the update and finished troubleshooting, you are ready to make the change live on your site. Go back to the Blog Vault dashboard and merge the changes. Number eight, Blog Vault creates a comparison of both the files and the database between the two sites for review. You can select which changes you want to keep and which to disregard from here. Click on next. Number nine, 
enter your FTP credentials and complete the merge. Your live site will be updated with changes that are tested on a replica site. So there is no danger of losing content or breaking the site. Number two, using live preview in WP admin, you can change the WordPress theme, but we don't recommend this method for complex themes and page builders like DV, Elementor, etc. Why? Because although live preview helps you see how a new theme will affect your site, it's actually quite limited in scope. For example, it does not help catch any future code conflicts. However, if you still want to use this method, you need to follow the following steps. Number one, enable maintenance mode before making any changes to minimize disruption to visitors. You can do this by installing a dedicated plugin, WP Maintenance Mode. Number two, go into appearance and then themes on WP Admin. Number three, click on add new. Number four, select the theme you like and click on install. Number five, hover over the install theme to see the options and click on live preview. The theme loads on your live site content, which you can play around with a little to see how everything works. Number six, once you're satisfied, click on activate and publish to complete it. Number three, use a dedicated theme changer plugin. You can use theme switcher, which is a theme switcher plugin to test drive your themes on your site's front end, but your visitors will not see this. They will only see your older active theme. So this plugin is also a decent alternative to using staging. Personally, the only drawback I see is that I have to install and use a different plugin for a theme change. Whereas with Blog Vault, I can take backups, host a staging site, update changes to a live site, and also do a bunch of other things from a single dashboard. With that being said, here are five easy steps to use Theme Switcher. Number one, install and activate the plugin from the plugin dashboard. Number two, from the plugin dashboard, go into Theme Switcher setting and check enable theme switching. Number three, once you've saved changes, you can see the installed themes on the same page under the heading available themes. Number four, click on any of the themes to see a full functioning preview of your website in the new theme. Number five, once once you see how the new theme will look, you can change your WordPress theme from the themes dashboard. Number four, changing a WordPress theme manually is not recommended because you'll have to dive deep into your website's code and a single typo could easily break your entire website. We've always recommended using Blog Vault or Theme Switcher. If you want to learn how to do this for curiosity's sake, I will add a trusted blog in the description that will take you through it step by step since it's a long and complex procedure. Now that's over with, let's get into the checklist to catch any errors after a theme change. Once your theme has been changed and the site is working properly, the major part of this process is accomplished. In this section, we've put together a checklist of elements you need to verify and update after switching the WordPress theme. While you're going through this checklist, break out the pre-change checklist we help you make in the beginning, it's about to become super useful. Number one, design elements. Certain design elements are critical for your website and may have been changed ever so slightly. Here are the top few that you should check right after a theme change. A. Homepage. Is the correct page showing up as the homepage? Some themes have dedicated homepages that exist outside of the WordPress page hierarchy, so you need to show which one is the correct one. If the old theme had a custom homepage, it will be saved in page drafts, and the new theme's default homepage will appear instead. B. Menus. You may need to recreate menus if they have disappeared. Check each of the links to see if they work as expected. Also, double check if all the links are visible from the previous theme. C. Custom CSS. Remember this? Make sure you copy them back if you need to. D. Widgets. Each theme supports different widget locations, so are widgets appearing where they should? E. Other elements. Posts, comments, sections, images, pages, forms, and any other visible elements also need to be checked for inconsistency. Number two, analytics integrations. As we mentioned in the pre-change checklist, tracking info is usually inserted into the header of the theme as a best practice, but sometimes it doesn't carry over to the newly installed theme. So you definitely need to check if the code needs to be inserted again. Number three, check user experience. Remember we asked you to note down load times and check responsiveness before changing the theme. Now is the right time to test a new theme for the same and compare the results. As a rule of thumb, we want the load time to be faster because it improves user experience and helps in SEO. Number four, check plugin compatibility. Any change to your website has the potential to break it. That is just how code works. Check WP admin notifications for errors and resolve any compatibility issues. You may have to look for alternatives if they are not easily resolved. And that's it, you're all set. Here's a last helpful tip. You can watch videos here about how to backup a WooCommerce site and here how to restore a site if you don't have any backups. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.